So we have a VZ Commodore 2005 here. Customer complaint is the service lights keep coming on. Which we serviced the car as well before and like two, three months ago, four months ago. And it's coming on with the service reset. And every time we service, the, um, you do the reset with the button, straight away we came back on. So it's common with the Commodores, the VZ. So when you get a service slide, it's definitely a fault code in the system. And um, there we go. But it's been serviced, the, the service been reset. So I'll we'll just check the fault code, see what fault code do we have here. This is 2005. Is it Commodore Triple 1.90 kilowatts? Go. We come to engine. That that's first call, don't worry about it because I done the spark plugs on this car today. It's the customer complaint was a little bit sometimes runs rough. I thought I'd give it the spark plugs there. I'm still working on it, but see the oil pressure uh, P0521. That's a problem. Very common on all the Holdens, even V, especially on the LS2 V8 six liter. This is pretty common, and you get that and you change your oil pressure switch it doesn't fix the problem change your oil pump it will fix the problem but this model with this code this definitely a uh, um, engine oil pressure switch quickly I'll show you turn the ignition on local history there come back there I'll clear the code Successful. I'll turn the ignition off. And I'll turn it back on. I might connect that airflow mass sensor. One sec, I'll connect that airflow mass sensor. I'll pause the video and I'll come back to it. So, I'll connect the intake manifold for the mass, mass airflow sensor. I deleted the code not long ago, yeah. So before I connect it, just started up, let it run for 20 seconds, service light came back on. So I'm just, I'm just going to check the codes again. Engine oil pressure sensor straight away. So they're telling me the sensor is 100% faulty. So I'm just going to turn off the car because I don't want it to get halved. And I will show you the location of that sensor. bad boy here that's a problem there so I got a new one I'm gonna replace there it's easy pull the pin out of here the connector is disconnected just gonna check the plug Alright, check the wiring. And I'm just gonna change the sensor there. So I will change the sensor. Oh, the focus. And I'll come back and um, clear the code and we see if it fixes it or not. So I just pop the airbox off and got my 27mm socket there with the adapter and the 3 that's all. Simple. So I'm gonna use my both hands after to pause the video, but that's all. Just undo it. Now you can just take it out with your hands. There you. It comes out. So 
so there's oil gonna come out make sure you put a rag on the knee there or a bucket so to capture the oil and that's it that's a sensor so I'll put it back there's the o-ring there don't tie the fuck out of it yeah the o-ring let o-ring does the job for you so you just tie it a little bit and put the connector back there's a tag there find the tag on the connector and just line it up and push it in that's it so I'm gonna put the airbox back and jump back in the car and uh, clear the code so just give me two seconds I'll pause the video again and we go from there alright so let's see if you can see how the code's not there they turn the key on I go to travel code the oil pressure light turn off the flashlight All right. that oil pressure light is there I'm just gonna clear the code Turn the ignition off. Couple of seconds. Turn it back on. Normally the service light comes up straight away, or maybe take 20 seconds to come on. So we see if it comes back on or not. If not, I'm gonna take it for the drive around the corner. Give it a five to ten minutes drive, and we see if anything. I'll rev it up a little bit. Let me see. Oh, so far so good. See the code that comes up. I'm just if I'm replacing, I'm not going by the code that computer gave me. If I see anything about the oil pressure, I'm just gonna go just change the oil pressure switch straight away. I tested it before, but this is as as you can see is a quick guide. So the different number on the code means different things. So if it's five two one it means the oil pressure switch if there is another number it might be the wiring it might be something it might be the actual oil pressure from the pump so we don't know but this code that we saw it's exactly the oil pressure switch fault code so and as you can see we deleted it came back up straight away and i checked the live data before as well so i checked it properly as you can see no code and the light still not coming on so i'll give it like the five ten minutes dry and if I'm happy with it that's good and I will I'm just gonna pause the video if the light comes back on we check the codes but I'm positive that that's it that was the problem all right I drove it a couple of kilometer and I let it idle for five minutes as you can see there's no service light I'm just gonna check the trouble codes again no fault codes the focus of the video. yeah focus might what's wrong with you yeah there we go check the history code nothing no fault code so as I said to you especially visa Commodores they are very common on the engine computers make sure you check the unit that you're replacing because it might not be the problem might be something, it might be the engine computer. I had a lot of engine computer replaced on the visa commodo. Common common faults. So make sure you check the uh, oil pressure switch on the live data. But I think it's oil pressure switch is just 20 bucks. You can just chuck one in there. And it's like two minutes to replace it as well. So you can save time from the back probing or anything else. So anyway, this guy is fixed. Done, dusted. Thanks guys, good luck.